So here are the solutions to the MYP1 maths first chance test. First question was two thirds plus a quarter. So the first thing I did uh, was try and make the denominators the same. So three and four both go into 12. So I wanted to try and make the denominators out of 12. So I multiplied the first fraction by four over four, which is just like multiplying by one, and the second fraction by three over three. And that gave me eight twelfths plus three twelfths. And then when I add those up, you just add up the tops, so you get eleven twelfths. So the first um, answer was eleven twelfths, and um, it's half a mark for the correct answer, but half a mark for the full thorough working that makes sense. Second question. 2 fifths plus 7 eighths. So again, I need a number that 5 and 8 both go into to make that the denominator. They both go into 40. So I multiply both fractions up to try and make them out of 40. So that involves multiplying, let's just get that in the right place, multiplying the first fraction up by 8 eighths and the second fraction up by 5 fifths. So you're just multiplying by one there, you're not really making the fractions bigger or smaller, you're just writing them in a different form, because 8 eighths is 1 and 5 fifths is 1. And then when you do that you get 16 fortieths and 35 fortieths, and when you add those up you get 51 fortieths and 51 fortieths. Um, you have to ask yourself, how many times does 40 go into 51? Just the one time with 11 left over, so it's 1 and 11 fortieths. So um, half a mark for that final full simplified answer and half a mark for the full thorough and clear working. So question 3 was 3 and 2 thirds plus 6 and 3 quarters. So I like to split up the whole number bits, the 3 plus the 6, and then the fraction bits, the 2 thirds plus the 3 quarters. So the 3 plus the 6 gives me a 9. And then the two thirds plus the three quarters. Well, I need to multiply those fractions up so that they have the same denominator. So three and four both go into 12. So I'm trying to multiply the fractions up so that the denominators, the bottom numbers, are 12. So I multiply the first number, um, the first fraction by four over four, which is just one, and the second fraction by three over three, which is just one. So it's not really getting any bigger or smaller. It's just getting written in a different form so that it's out of 12. So that becomes 9 plus 8 twelfths plus 9 twelfths. So we add those up and we get 9 and 17 twelfths. But 17 twelfths is top heavy so we we need to make that into 10 and 5 twelfths. Yeah, because the 17 twelfths is the same as 1 and 5 twelfths. So final answer, 10 and 5 twelfths. So the next question, 11 twelfths minus 5 eighteenths. So once again, we want to try and make the denominators the same. 12 and 18 both go into 36. So we want to make them both into fractions out of 36. So I multiply the first one by 3 over 3, which is just 1 and the other one by 2 over 2, which is just 1. And we get 33 over 36 minus 10 over 36. Once we've got the denominators the same, then we just subtract the tops. So 33 minus 10 is 23, so that makes the answer 23 over 36. Question 5, 13 and 2 thirds minus 6 and a quarter. So I'm going to start off by making the denominators of the fraction the same. So 3 and 4 both go into 12. So I'm going to try and make them both into fractions with twelfths. So multiplying the first one by 4 over 4 to get 12 in the denominator. And then the second one by 3 over 3 to get 12 in the denominator. And then that becomes 13 and 8 twelfths minus 6 and 3 twelfths. Then we can just do the 13 minus the 6 and the 8 twelfths minus the 3 twelfths 
to give us 7 and 5 twelfths. 13 minus 6 is 7, 8 twelfths minus 3 twelfths is 5 twelfths. Question 6. 23 and a third minus 16 and 7 eighths. So I'll try and do the same thing again with getting the same denominator in the fraction. 3 and 8 both go into 24. So I'm going to try and make those fractions out of 24. So I'm multiplying the first fraction by 8 out of 8 and the second fraction by oops, by 3 over 3 so that they both have 24 at the bottom of the fraction. And that gives me 23 and 8 twenty-fourths minus 16 and 21 twenty-fourths. Now I'm going to have a problem here because 8 twenty-fourths is smaller than 21 twenty-fourths. So I can't subtract 21 twenty-fourths from it. So I'm going to have to borrow 1 out of the 23 here and put it into the 8 twenty-fourths. So instead of 23 and 8 twenty-fourths, I've changed that to 22 and 32 twenty-fourths. So I've taken 1 out of the 23 and turned it into 24 twenty-fourths. Plus the 8 makes 32 twenty-fourths. So that's the same as 22 and 32 twenty-fourths minus 16 and 21 twenty-fourths. And that's got rid of the problem because 32 twenty-fourths is bigger than 21 twenty-fourths, so we can do the subtraction. So the 22 minus the 16 gives me the 6. The 32 twenty-fourths minus the 21 twenty-fourths gives me 11 twenty-fourths, so the answer is 6 and 11 twenty-fourths. Question 7, multiplication. 2 thirds times 3 fifths. You just do top times top, bottom times bottom. So 2 times 3 over 3 times 5 gives you 6 over 15 but of course um, that can be simplified you might have noticed that the top and the bottom had a 3 in it so it can be simplified by a factor of 3 by dividing everything by 3 over 3 so dividing everything by 3 over 3 that simplifies to 2 fifths final answer 2 fifths again half a mark for the correct answer half a mark for the working leading to it. Question 8. 3 and 2 thirds multiplied by 6 and 2 fifths. Well the first thing you need to do is make both of the fractions top heavy. So 3 times 3 gives you 9 plus the extra 2 gives you 11. So that's the same as 11 thirds. And then 6 times 5 makes 30 plus the extra 2 makes 32. So that's the same as 32 fifths. So the original question is the same as 11 thirds multiplied by 32 fifths. And once you've got them both into top heavy fractions, then you can just do your normal thing of top times top, bottom times bottom, 11 times 32 over 3 times 5, which is 352 over 15. Then you've got to ask yourself the question, how many 15s can I get out of the 352? because at the moment this fraction is top heavy and we'd like to turn it into a mixed fraction. So the answer is that you can get 23 fifteens out of the 352 uh, and that makes 345. So you've got seven left over. So the answer is 23 and 7 fifteenths. Half a mark for the correct answer, half a mark for the full and thorough and clear working leading to it. Question nine, division, two thirds divided by four sevenths. Well the trick is to change it to a multiplication and then flip over or invert the second fraction, just the second fraction. So that becomes two thirds times seven oh four, seven over four, and then you just do the top times top, bottom times bottom. So two times seven over three times four and that becomes fourteen over twelve, um, which is same as one and two twelfths because you can get twelve uh, you can get one twelve out of the fourteen with two left over so that's the same as one and two twelfths but two twelfths simplifies you can divide top and bottom 
you can divide it by two in two, two over two, so that becomes one and one sixth. So final answer one and one sixth, half a mark for the correct answer, half a mark for the full and thorough working. Okay, question ten. Thirteen and two thirds divided by six and a quarter. Well, before you do anything with this, you want to make both of these into top heavy fractions. So uh, 3 times 13 is 39, plus the extra 2 makes 41. So 13 and 2 thirds is the same as 41 over 3. And then the second fraction, 6 and a quarter, 4 times 6 makes 24, plus the extra 1 makes 25. So 6 and a quarter is the same as 25 quarters. So that becomes 41 over 3 divided by 25 over 4. And then once you've got it into top heavy fractions, you can just treat it like you did with the previous question um, using the trick of changing it to a multiplication problem and then flipping over the second fraction. So that just becomes 41 over 3 times 4 over 25. And then you just do top times top, bottom times bottom, and that gives you 41 times 4 is 164, 3 over 25 is 75. So 164 over 75 is an answer, but it's still top heavy and we'd like to turn that into a mixed fraction. So we ask ourselves the question, how many 75s can I get out of the 164? Well, two 75s would make 150 and then you'd have 14 left over. So the answer is two and 14 over 75, half a mark for the correct answer, half a mark for the full and thorough working. So that left you with 10 questions, um, and I gave a um, maximum score of, of 10, obviously, 10 out of 10 for 10 questions, half a mark for the answer, half a mark for the working. If you got 10 out of 10, I would have given an 8, 9 out of 10, a 7, uh, 8 out of 10, a 6, and so on down. If you got an odd half a mark, I rounded it up. Um, but your your uh, marks on the eight scale were based on that.